Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick recap video and today just focus on one of the indices and its individual breadth as opposed to everything as a whole. And today we're going to be talking about the DIA, which is the Dow Jones Industrial Average or YM, which is the futures product and kind of walk through the confluence moments and how you could have pulled some money out of this market. So getting right into it. First, we start off big picture levels, big high time frame supply and demand levels, resistance. Again, we're not going to spend much time on this, but resistance, big response little bit of response here short time frame and then breaks through comes back support support a lot of interactions through here nothing's perfect and then it's retested on friday and then retested again today but the 50 ema joins that down below that same sort of thing and it's even more local um, big support here on a higher low but locally uh, more recently resistance pushed down resistance pushed down so big picture level here big picture level here big picture level big picture level. This is a wider zone on the second one. So on a day trading time frame basis, we try to split them apart into two. Upper zone, upper edge of that big picture level, which happens to be Thursday's real time hour highs. Daily S1 pivot and gap anchored VWAP. Lower level, gap fill, W weekly uh, pivot point, 20 EMA, and then the FOMC meeting minutes low. So it's a here or their level. If you like longs, it's a here or there. That's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. So now we're going to look for confluence. So YM or DIA has three main components. First one, XLI, which is um, just the industrials by themselves. And again, it's sort of a here or there. Wait for this to load. 20 EMA, upper edge of uh, big picture supply and demand level, lower edge, is the lower edge of the big picture supply and demand level with the higher low daily anchored VWAP here or there. Yes, it dick for ticks the 20, but we never we don't look into that too much. Again, Thursday's real time hour high stop there, but dick for ticks the 20 EMA, but after the fact it hits. This happens over and over again. Stop just a little bit short, and then after the fact you can see the lows of today was the 20 EMA. So that's part one, XLI. It is the here level as well. XLV, which is healthcare, is the next major component. XLV, not really a here or there level, just sort of a uh, pretty damn big level. WS1, weekly S1 pivot, 20 EMA, and again, look at after the fact, hits to the tick, annual pivot point, Swing anchored VWAP, daily anchored VWAP. So all that stuff here, we hit the upper edge of that. There was no really here or there. It was just more of a bigger picture, uh, or a lot of um, stuff going on there. So really nice level. If you want to take that a step further, you could possibly look at some of its breadth. UNH, 20 EMA, big picture supply and demand level. Merck, 20 EMA, w weekly S1 pivot. J&J, &J, the weakest coming down in there. WS2, MS1, Wix on that level, and then finally Pfizer, um, quarterly pivot point, 20 EMA, all sort of the same stuff. And that's if that's just if you want to look a little bit more inside of the components of XLV. So that's two, XLI and XLV. Final one is XLF, the financials. So what did financials do today? Again, gap down and pushed into high time frame, big picture level with a gap anchor VWAP all at the same time and it's Thursday's real-time hour highs again you're seeing the same thing across the board in pretty much all the components held to the tick you could have taken this and looked at it maybe as a, a two try maybe the weekly pivot point lower edge of the bigger picture uh, high time frame supply and demand level but confluence number three so we have first we have DIA obviously the big one which is the indice but now we're looking at XLF XLI and XLV, all signaling plus the individual components. So going back to DIA, you try the long, you don't have to trade DIA, you could trade the YM futures, which held the two day, uh, three day anchored VWAP as well to the tick, the gap anchored VWAP, or you could trade the UDAO. UDAO comes down to the 60 ish level, quick bounce. $1.50, $1.60 move right up into this level up here. Maybe take half off at a dollar and then just um, watch and trail. So how would you sort of look at that? You take the signal, you take the signal, sell maybe Summit Surf or pop into uh, Friday's initial highs. You can see the wicks here. Um, so 
take some off and then how do you kind of manage the trade then you start using your daily or your anchored VWAP from the lows comes down into level big push up again big wicks you're probably out some here now pulls back you have some trails on or you could get rid of some and then add back if you want anchored VWAP from the lows hold 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 this is good 20 minutes of holding through here and then pushes up what else does it do uh, ABC or measured move up back into the actual 50 dick for tick the 50 on Friday and now hit today comes back up it's way later but still you might have been holding on some uh, up into this level that is 60 to you know you're talking two dollars and fifty cents thousand shares twenty five hundred dollars on ym the futures product that was the first move up to here was 250 points uh, all the way up to highs was almost 450 points um, 250 points um, pretty big chunk um, so some pretty big moves or just the UDAO and you're just you get two dollars and fifty cents so some pretty nice moves pretty easy way to pull some money out of the market so going back to the other one so XLI um, I don't know if it had uh, anchored VWAP from the lows but we'll just go look at that uh, no, it broke through but it, it was a little bit weaker probably the biggest one and XLF has been very strong and been helping lead this market up um, XLF holds the gap anchor view up just like DIA and then watch the anchored view up from the intraday low hold 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 keep driving up and basically does it the rest of the day um, holds and then does another push but again you get this hold on the continuation long you could add it back and then push up into this 50 EMA which you can see is daily anchored VWAP daily anchored VWAP um, so pretty damn big level and we stopped um, just short of the daily R1 didn't quite get up there but you know you're into the daily anchored VWAP 50 EMA you better be taking some profits there so really helped out on trade management in in the UDAO if you held you got this confluence um, or continuation long off the low so you take a chunk maybe add back or hold the whole thing use trade management and you push up into new highs with XLF and all that good stuff so you have that potential there so realistically you're probably one and done the ABCD up you're probably done but nice confluence short again XLF into the 50 EMA uh, daily anchored VWAP, DIA, the same thing, big picture level, div up into the 50 EMA as well. You could have taken the short, which played out really nicely. Taken this short, 50 EMA populate, taking the short back to the daily um, anchored VWAP. And you can see one hold, two, three, four nice wicks. You're probably done. Now, you could have shorted you down and probably collected another dollar fifty down to here into those wicks or if you can't short and you have to long only you could have taken the u dow or the s dow long and that went for um you know about 70 cents so um, some real nice stuff and then possibly you know you're really starting to push it now but you did get this nice hold right here these wicks you possibly could have taken it long again and tried to chunk you know 50 60 70 cents or something like that but again the first part the bigger confluence signal the here or there it held the here moved up then abc it up into the bigger level uh, money made possibly taking the short really nice confluence short um, that you know that's probably it everything else is you're just starting to push it but so anyway that's it for this one hopefully that makes sense